Hello Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show that recreates famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft just for fun. I am your host, Jeff Bell, and welcome back to yet the start of another great, great movie build. That's right, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail of this here episode, we are building the McAllister House from Home Alone. Yes, I know, we're building another house. Again in this neighborhood. But I guarantee and I promise that after this build is finished, <laughs> we're gonna take a break from some houses and we're gonna move back over to the New York area. Maybe do something else as a one-off. I haven't decided yet, but just rest assured, we will not always just be spending the rest of the series in the house district. So yes, let us just move right on with this build. I decided that because it's getting to be Christmas, uh, at least for, you know, those of us who do celebrate Christmas. Um, I wanted to do something Christmassy. I wanted to do a Christmas house. I did the Camp Crystal Lake for Halloween way over there in the distance. I'm pointing at a tree. Like, you know where things are in relationship to each other. It's out there. Um, but because we did that for Halloween, I wanted to do something special for Christmas. And the first thing that popped in my head was the McAllister house. So, what did I do? I know you're, you're, you're questioning, you're like, wait a minute, did we, did we miss... Do we miss something here? What is what is this? I wanted to make sure that this build did not go like our Family Ties house build. I wanted to do a little pre-planning because there will be some work done on the inside of the house, just like uh, just like this one. But uh, because this, it is just as equally important on the inside as on the outside, I wanted to make sure that we got everything right the first time so we didn't have to waste a lot of time. So I did a bunch of pre-planning. What did that entail? Well, first off, I did something that nearly broke my game, which <laughs> which is I moved the, because uh, you see, so this is how the sidewalk over here was, where it's just one block of grass between the curb and the sidewalk. I wanted to move it so it was two, and that, that nearly just broke everything. Just to select this open area and the Simpsons house nearly broke everything. So I did that. I moved the uh, the street down because this was actually a lot closer to there because I might one day just go back and build the Flanders house just for fun, not on an episode. Um, so I was just kind of just organizing some things out. And I also figured out what the scale of this house was going to be by using this. So the big thing for this, again, the, the issue we fell into with the uh, Family Ties house was I need to make sure that whatever the size is or the scale is of this house that we can uh, take into account that there's going to be an outside wall and an inside wall. So I kind of built this really basic structure um the house itself uh, is actually is, is a mirror image it is the it is the same on the left hand side as it is on the right hand side splitting it about uh or actually pretty much the front door there's just some minor differences the kitchen the back and all that stuff but the the general shape of the building is like that so by structuring off this front this one side i was able to figure everything out and i'm happy with what we've got here i kind of i, I kind of like what's going on this was all just mock-ups it's not gonna be wood and and sponge this was just so i knew what was going on i have found blueprints online of the house the tricky thing is, is if you are following along and you want to find your own blueprints online when you look up the home alone house be careful because somebody actually designed a version of the house that you could build that version is not the version that's in the film it is kind of a modern or it would be more or less like this in real life type thing not what the house is and i don't want that so i was able to find an actual blueprints of the house i have a ton of screenshots i'm going off of so uh basically we're just going to get going on this and then so uh, but once i figured out this then i figured the more boring aspect stuff like uh you know this will get replaced later but just where the the driveway was and where the house kind of fits into the area uh, i just wanted to block out that sort of thing so we were building everything correctly. You didn't miss much. It was just a lot of boring planning stuff. So uh, for those of you who, who know the movie, you understand what this looks like. It's weird because they have this kind of front curvy side, like driveway, this this front approach that comes right up to the front door. That's where the, the vans are in the beginning of parts one and two. And then they have the normal driveway. This feels very added on. I feel like that that wouldn't be actually in the house, especially since it, it, does, it does curve like this. It curves weirdly kind of just normal curve and then it just kind of goes to the driveway and then you come out it's it's messed up anyways i wanted to do that all off camera and then i figured out where the middle is and then where our two sides are and then where the property line is so this is this fence represents the edge of the property so everything's going to fit in this square and from what i did as a start of a mock-up it uh, it looks pretty dang uh, accurate so i'm pretty happy 
with how this is turning out. So what do I need for pieces? Let's just get right on into this red nether brick. Huh. I wonder if I could use that. Um, we are going to use... Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. You know what? We're going to grab... Not the monster eggs. We're going to grab you. And um, you know what? We are. We're going to use another brick. We are going to use a nice dark brick for this build. Um, just to... Yeah, just to help. Okay, so real quick, I just want to take a gander. I'm not going to keep coming back and forth between this, but I just want to make sure that we get off on the right foot just so I know what we're doing. So the first layer here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine in the corner. Beautiful. So let's start doing. The house is actually raised up by about a block. I think, uh, or actually it's two blocks. It's, it's, it's not perfectly level. Oh, actually, hold on. This needs to be... Oh, wait, that's, okay, so that's the front door. Maybe we'll, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start here. We're going to start in the middle and work our way one half, and then I will duplicate the other half off camera. So this is our door. Our door is right there. I believe it's going to be two blocks high. Front porch going up, I believe, is what I ended up deciding on. So, what did I, <laughs> crap, what did I do? I counted the wrong end here. So what do we got here? We got uh, one, two, three, four. And then that starts. Brilliant. So it's four over. Um, the measurements of the house, uh, I do have all those kind of planned off as well. So one, two, three, four. And then uh, we will actually do that. So this that's the front foyer. So again, just for those of you following at home, two, three. Yes, three. Three and then that. So that's the, that's the front foyer uh, that happens in the movie. I'll do this so you guys understand. We will do two. If, the, if it's not two, then I can always come back. Uh, so that's that. Now we're going to continue on with... Oh, man. <laughs> I did all this pre-planning, and I'm so particular. I want to make sure that it's all correct. I don't want us to have to redo it. So, so what we just did is one, two, three, and four for that wall. And then we do two, 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 and then three. Okay, dokie. And then we cut back by a couple. So... Let's just go ahead and come in here. So we did that, and then one, two, and then that's gonna be the one, two for the first window, one, two for the middle, one, two for the second window, one, two, and three. Yep, and then we're gonna come back. I believe I ended up doing three, about three, and then this should just go all the way to there, and then this is where it turns. This was just so I knew the the edge. So that is that is the first part of the house, and it does look huge. It is a big house, it really is. Once you start looking at this place, it's a very giant house. Um, but that is, that is that. So, okay, one more time. Sorry, I know I keep going back and forth here, but I wanna make sure, what we're gonna do today's episode is we're gonna get the foundation of the house in, possibly the first floor walls in, possibly up the second floor because it is pretty much just a, a shell, it's a, it's a flat out structure, um, or just flat out shell, and then, uh, uh, we'll end the episode today with the outside of the house done. Then next time we'll go inside and then we'll spend an episode dedicated to, uh, interior work and maybe just, and all oh, the attic. There's a, definitely an attic. I'm not going to do the basement mostly because I don't have a uh, deep enough, uh, floor yet. I am working on that after this series build. I am planning on, uh, built rebuilding my world and bringing everything up because the build that I want to do after Christmas requires us to dig down deep. So, yeah, that needs to happen. All right, so it is going to be two steps up. So this is technically, like, where the brick would start. is like that. So two up, and make sure that... So I went th I went back three, yep. And then this should be... What did I count before? So starting there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the corner starts. Let's double check to make sure that I did that. If I did do that correctly, then we are golden. So one, two, three, so one, two... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brilliant. It is done correctly. Um, okay, so we have this part done. This is, and like I said, is going to be, it will be two blocks wide. Like I said, I'm going to do this one side here, and then we will go on, and then off camera, I will build the rest of it. All right, so what we have here, so that is our front door, one, two, which I might, uh, I might replace that with a different texture so it's not just brick. Um, this is here, so then we do one, two, what did I count? So if I count this one, two, one, two for that, one, two. Oh wait, no, I did three down here, sorry, like that. 
Yes, I had to... So this was what I struggled with the most with this build, was trying to... Uh, take into account that there's going to be an inside wall here. Uh, so like this is going to be one thickness of a wall, the other thickness is going to be here. So really in the inside, it's just one open space. You can kind of see it over there. It's one uh, space, two windows, two for a wall, two windows, one space, and then the wall is going to be here. So I was just trying to keep that into account while I was building this. Uh, I also struggled a little bit on this side because these windows are actually a little off and they're technically they favor this side i'm not doing that for this build i'm actually favoriting this side so that way we could have a wall in here without having the windows right on the wall this is all boring crap that nobody cares about but it is what i just need to inform you of so right so that is the start of the half here yeah, yeah i yeah don't worry about that so these will go um the way that this house is designed yeah the way this is designed is that the windows of this house are pretty much almost come straight down at least on the front part almost come straight down to this lip right here um and then this is so just so you guys are following along this is the ground floor this is the inside of the house obviously that's because that's why we built it up too so here is here's the floor so the, the floor is going to be right here which means we're gonna have to replace this this with something else and i will figure out what exactly at a later date okay now what we have here for the side this is so now we're into uncharted territory now i haven't quite figured out all of this basically what this building is is it's it's a it's a it's a long rectangle here um that stretches out for a little bit of a bathroom or a closet in the back here underneath the stairs uh, we have the living room on this side which stretches out just about the same amount with a fireplace in it and then we have the smaller family room here it's kind of a, a tiered structure so um so if that's 12 we figure that's 12 and then that's one so okay so this this room right here is double its length as it is its width so we are going to figure i'm sorry i say so a lot it's just kind of a habit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's figure out what 18 blocks looks like deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So that is that is deep. I should have kept track of how deep. I did figure out the stairs system. I tried figuring that out just to see. You know what? That might. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, it looks really deep though, doesn't it? But 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 again, but again, there's going to be a whole inner wall. So you know what? I'm okay with that. Let's come out back this way, and this lines up with that wall. Just pretend like there's an inner wall here. Um, that is going to be about the same. So we did three blocks here. So then what happens is this middle section juts out. We did three here. It looks like it's about the same style here. So we're going to do three there, and then that means this just comes all the way across like so to you again pretend that there's something there and then there is a little um bathroom which we're going to do because we need to so the wall the inside wall is going to be here there's a wall here wall here one two so let's come out four because then oh i don't have any uh let's do a wool here just so that way I can show you guys what I'm talking about here uh, and the inside here though there's there's gonna be a wall here and then uh, ooh, that's only a two oh but it is it is only supposed to be a very narrow bathroom it'd be like toilet and like a sink and that's all that's actually supposed to be in this room so you know what that is perfecto I'm okay with that and now this stretches all the way to you and then it comes back down to there. You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to build these supports since we are not building the uh, the, the basement. This is just easier to kind of visualize what everything's gonna look like and this is gonna come out. Yeah, I think that's gonna come out to two. And this one is, this one's gotta come out to at least there. And then not there, that one right there. Do two, two, just like that. Yeah, because there's like a little like a little mini room here and then it steps out and there's a little bit of a gap or a lip on both sides this is a uh, clear through it matches it here which then this goes all the way there just like that yeah you know what actually i'm uh yeah i think this looks it looks this looks good this looks good i'm happy with this so far okay now on this side 
this is going to go back here. I, and I'm going to finish this part off camera in just a second. But let me get the start of this section. So this is going to go all the way there. And then there is... So this is technically under stairs here. And then this is the steps that go up. So it's going to be, I think, there. Maybe we'll put it there. Maybe we'll just give it a little extra space. Just to be like, yay, into the kitchen. Because then this is the kitchen. Which then means... You are. You know, we're gonna give we're gonna give a gap there. Uh, yeah. Because, oh yeah, because this is the entire. Oh man, that's a huge flipping dining room. Maybe this is a little bit too deep. We'll wait and see. So then there's that, and then there's a door there, and then. All right. I will. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Before we keep going, let me go and I'm gonna go ahead and finish copying this side over on this side, and I will be right back. Okay, and now that's done. Now I know before you go ahead and freaking out, I uh, I might have done a little bit more than I expected to, but I wanted to get us to a point where you can see what's going on. So what I did, I finished uh, the two bricks up all the way around the outside. I placed where, uh, just gaps right at the moment, where the windows are going to go. I finished off the brickwork on this side of the house because this side of the house is pretty much done. Um, <laughs> say for this wood just coming out the back of the house here uh, there is a fireplace right here in the middle of this room which we will go ahead and deal with later uh, just not right now and then the uh, this is the kitchen so this is the part of the house that does not meet what the rest of this looks like I also went through and just for the time being placed down uh, wooden floors to kind of just fill in all of these gaps uh, this is uh, obviously these will be replaced here more than likely with this uh, in the near future i just wanted to i'm just gonna put these here for now so we just keep in track of what's going on and then i popped in these guys so you know where the doorways are going to be going into these each of these rooms now the cool thing about this house you actually can stand on this side because it's kind of a it's a it's the old school kind of like 1930s 1940s esque uh could be a little bit earlier might be the 20s actually this could this is very much so based on like more of an 1800 style or 1700 style colonial house. Doesn't matter. I am not an architect, just from what I know. Uh, but the way that this house is set up is that there's windows that go straight on this side and then all the way on the opposite side here. And there's the doorways that walk into each of these rooms. So you can just stand on one side of the house and clear, clearly see through all the way to the other end. Uh, it's kind of nice just because it makes things a little more even and balanced. So once you get it on one side, it's easier to get it on the other Okay, now with all that finished and said and done, let's move on. What's going to be here in the future is that we're going to have the staircase, which will be uh, two bricks wide. There's going to be technically a gap here in the middle, um, just all the way through. But these three are going to be open for people to get through on this. The stairs are going to probably start about yay here, go up about two-thirds of the way um, maybe a little bit more than that then there's a landing that turns here and then there's basically just a step up onto the next floor uh, we'll figure that out once we figure out how high these floors are going to be which we'll actually we'll build that and all that later right now we're moving on to the kitchen so this is the living room that's the family room this is the dining room where kevin uh blows the feathers on to harry uh, when he walks through the door after he gets uh, his face full of um uh, with saran wrap and all that fun stuff there is a door i pretty much planning the door to be i think about here so where's my wool so this is just the temporary stuff like we did before so there's gonna be a door right there so i believe i'm gonna probably put a door there leave that as a gap we're gonna these are kind of i, te I don't technically think these are even in the uh in the movie but i want to make them even and actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do two in on that side as well uh two in oh shite Wait, so no, the wall's gonna be, the wall's actually gonna be there. Okay, so let's just, let's just figure this out right now. So this is gonna be too thick here, because I need this to be, this does not, the, the wall, the walls aren't gonna be inside, the walls are gonna be falling on this, so this is the inside walls. So they're gonna be like this. Might as well go ahead and plan this so you guys can understand what I'm thinking, what I'm talking about. So there's one there, there's one there, there's one like this, and then that comes out. We fill that in, that comes into there, like so. This is gonna finish being filled um so actually we should probably move that over yes because the, the doors are there that's a thick enough oh, but that means so that oh, yeah because i don't want to i don't want to have to make this room any tinier than it already is getting by doing all of that so the kitchen door is going to need to be here so then that way we can do this and that's the door. So this is the inside of the kitchen. Yes, like so. The kitchen. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's... Yes. Like that. <laughs> 
it's so much work. It's so much work. It's not even funny. Um, this is going to go all the way solid back here like that. Okay. Well, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and, uh, we're just going to have to go ahead and finish it. That's going to be okay. That's going to be okay. So then this comes out here. You're going to go there. Da, 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 Come all the way down here, and then, so you're only one thick, so then you come here, so everything stays balanced. See, this is where those half slabs would have been great, but I, uh, or half vertical slabs, but yeah, we all know well how, you know, we all know how well that went over there, so we're not going to bother doing that on this, so it's going to be like that. And this is actually still a pretty dang big room, I mean, when you think about it, and the fireplace is going to be right there on those two blocks. It might be four blocks wide just to kind of fill that wall because there's no windows there. It's just a fireplace, so. But you saw the fireplace in part two. That's the beginning when uh, when Buzz is all like, ladies and gentlemen of the jury and all that fun stuff, so. My prank was, was immature and ill-timed. So anyways, there is, okay, that's all the walls on the inside. See how much, is, see how much easier this was when I did pre-planning? Gosh. To pre-plan more often. So those are all of our walls. I know that looks a little goofy right there, but you know, whatever. If this is a big deal, we can just do that. Um, so that's that. That's that. Those are those walls. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of digging that. Actually, let me. Sorry, I got to get my blueprint back up just to make sure that we are looking at this correctly. That the whole thing might actually be a little bit too deep. I might have gone back a little bit too deep here. I'm going to know once we start building the staircase. Um, and I wonder if maybe we should just do that now before we build this. Because however deep this wall goes is then the kitchen goes off. So the kitchen, just to give you like a little idea, the kitchen comes back here. There's a rear staircase here that goes upstairs. Um, the kitchen comes probably another. So if we did that as three, at least it's going to be four. So the kitchen's come back to about here. And then it cuts over about there and then it goes up and then it cuts over and then it comes all the way back down here so there's a big kitchen addition on there but where that kitchen is kind of matters on this so you know what we're gonna do we are gonna do that let's figure out how deep or maybe it's just you know what maybe it's just that i made the dining room too deep that might be it sorry i'm thinking out loud and i'm trying to figure out yeah, because you know what? That's connected there. So this wall here, over there, is going to come here. Yeah, I just made the, I made the, uh, I made the dining room too, too deep, too far back. So let's just grab you, and we're going to grab you. And we are just going to move you to left. Because the dining room is more square. The dining room is not as deep as the uh, the rooms on either side of of it, or you know, like the foyer. It's not as deep as like this room. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I like that. Because it all it needs is just the table in the middle, and then there's like a little cabinet right there. That's all. That's all it's supposed to be for. So yeah, you know what? I like that better. Which means in this can actually come back a little bit. Let us still build the stairs. You know what? I was not going to build the stairs in this episode. Let's go ahead and do it quickly. <laughs> we got to blow through this really quick. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to do a mock-up of them. I am not going to actually build the final stairs. Let's just at least get this in place so we know whether or not this is going to work now we're going to leave a gap here let's do two here i don't care what those look like I'll just do this and this yeah this is already going to be uh man i really wish i wrote down what i had and i figured out this dang stairs um yeah this is already too far back i already see it so if we do all right, let's let's figure this out. So it's one, two, let's do, let's just, yeah, one, two, three, four. Four is a nice height, and then on the fifth block, I could do like this is the ceiling in this room, right? Like that. I mean, it's still a that's friggin' high. You know what? Nope, that's too high. That's too high. So, if we come down to there. Yes. So we do four blocks. 
one, two, three full blocks, and then on the fourth block we can do a half a slab, because then we can do like a half a slab on this, or whatever, or whatever we want to do on the second floor. Um, so that is, that is the, that's the top part of this, and then the upstairs, just for example, would be this. So that's the upstairs floor, so we have, you know, because we could technically, I could technically, if I really wanted to, you know, it could be down that low for this floor. So then it's three blocks, and then the, the roof is on the, the fourth one. But I kind of like doing something along those lines just to give us a little more headroom. And that's still a big, grand, grand room. So what this needs to do is, so this can go up one more block. There's a method to my madness. Hold on. So that can go, that can go up one more block. So that's reaching that part. And then there is a landing for two blocks. That comes all the way over to the other wall, which we will just pull up here so you can see what we're doing. Like so. And then there is, which already, uh, this wall should technically be right here. Oh, but that means that's going to make my dining room tiny too. Because then what happens is there is a stair here that goes up one step and then we're you know then what we're doing is we're on we're on the the next floor like that's yeah like that's in line with the next floor so one or two things can happen so either that is that is done like it's going to be there which means that these this <laughs> which means this outside wall is like this comes around here da, da, da. so I had pre-planned this and now I completely forgot everything I did that's just great so that's the yeah it looks goofy but that is if, if you watch the movie that's exactly what they did it's only an extra little step up maybe we just need to make that da, da, da. landing turn and then they're up and they're up on the second floor I guess this is about. So I did four blocks there. You know what? Hold on. Let us go over here real quick. I'm going to just visit the Simpsons house. I'm not going to trust this house because that house is just a mess. So what did I do? How high are my floors for the Simpsons house? We are just constantly revisiting the Simpsons house. One, two, three. Yeah, four. And then the roof. And this is this is this feels like the right height, right? That feels correct. So that's what we're going to do. Is four blocks high. Technically, the room is four blocks high, and then the next room, so one, two, three, and four, and then the next room starts one, two, three, four, and then it's a little taller, isn't it? One, two, three. No, on the fourth. Oh, but not counting the not counting the floor. Five. Yeah. So it's always five blocks. It's five blocks, and the fifth block is the floor. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. Let's go back over here. Hmm. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I gotta be like me. I gotta figure out all this crap ahead of time, and I, and I don't, and then I just feel like an idiot. So, all right, what we have here then is exactly what we did in the Simpsons house. We have the fifth, so one is the floor, and then the, the wall is one, two, three, and then four with the, the room's uh, roof on the top part of that slab, so then the next floor can just start right there, like so. So, yes, this is the correct... That's the correct staircase. Now maybe it is supposed to be right around the corner like this. But I do kind of like... Sorry, I just <laughs> I just stopped talking. Um, but that will make my dining room a lot smaller. So maybe what we do is we just push this whole thing back one. Give me you. Just slide it back. So it's you know a little bit further away from that, and maybe I mean no no I like I like the actual stair stairs, the stair stairs feels right, and then that. Do we only do two? Maybe we do three for this. You know this landing is pretty dang big. So maybe we will do three. Like so, and then oh, I fell, and then uh, this is actually the back wall of the house, not not sorry not this wall this wall. 
But that just means that everything has to slide where... Oh, come on. Fingers stopped working pretty soon here. So that just means that I am three blocks off. So we just slide. Or oh, you know what we're going to do? Screw it. That's going to stay there. This other side is just going to be three blocks. Yeah. 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 We're going to do that. Screw it. <laughs> I don't care. Um, oh man, I already built that. That's gonna mess all that stuff up. All right, well, who cares? Just give me you, and then move three, right? Huh? Okay. Back wall, yes. And then, okay, so then we gotta figure out. Boy, there's just a, there's a mess of things here. So if this is this here, give it two, which means the doorway needs to be there, which is still fine, because the bathroom door is like, Oh, it's right in the middle, so it's there. Yeah, actually, that is perfectly okay. I'm happy with that. And then that's the stairway up there. Beautiful. This looks like a mess, but don't worry. We'll deal with this later. I don't know why I'm filling that in. I just feel like it. Okay, so that is the... That's the stairwell. That's the stairwell going in. I, I, you know, we're cheating it a little bit. We're pushing it back a little further, but that just gives us a nice big landing. And then this comes up like this and we're on the second floor. Brilliant, brilliant. So that is where we're at right now. So I was just a little bit too deep, uh, which is fine. Cause actually that does look a little, this feels a little more realistic for the size of these rooms. I guess these rooms were kind of getting a little giant. Um, and then that's my dining room. I mean, my dining room could come in a little shallower and maybe it's still a little bit too deep because that's 15 so it's this it's the width plus a couple you know what good enough for the dining room all right so then these back parts can actually be built off the kitchen we are running long on this episode you know what um let me go ahead and build the kitchen foundation real quick and then i'll be right back Okay, and that's done now. We are we are moving cranking along. I'm sorry that a lot of this has been off camera, but just to keep these episodes moving and keep them going, and this is a lot of the same stuff that you already saw me do. That's why I'm not hugely concerned. So what we have over here is we actually have the uh, kind of, there's like a sunroom green room over here. Um, the depth of this is uh, pretty much in line where, where, oh, you know what? We could probably actually move that back a little bit. This room is supposed to be about the same size as that room. So maybe off camera, I might, you know, I might actually just shift all of this down or you know what? Not off camera. Let's just you know, screw it. We're doing it live. Let's uh, go ahead and just cut this one. Let's just move one back. There we go. Yeah, it's a little better. Little, little narrower, and you know, the more we work, the better, I guess. That looks pretty good. That's nice, nice open area. So, what there is, and just, uh, just again to, to recap what's going on here. So, what we have here again, we have the kitchen. This is the dining room coming in here. The two doors on both sides. There's an extra door that goes underneath the staircase here. This is the dining room area or the breakfast nook. There's going to be a staircase that's right here. Uh, also, that's where the staircase going into the basement is. The dining room table is a is about through here, and then over here is the kitchen, which has got the uh, the like a little bit of the breakfast nook and then the countertops and then that's the back door leading outside and then the window some counters counters going all the way around to over here and uh yeah that's it and that's the back door outside so this is uh this is the first floor i'm not going to build the walls up in this episode i'll have those done by the time we get around to the next episode just so we can keep moving and i guess we're actually doing uh Okay, we're, we're splitting these up a little differently than I anticipated. So next time, we will worry about the second floor, uh, get that taken care of and in place. Uh, or maybe perhaps, you know what? You know what we're going to do. By next time, I will have the outer shell done. We'll figure out the inside walls of the second floor, and uh, we'll get the roof on the next episode so then the entire outside is done. And then we can just concentrate on the inside. We'll, we'll take the inside a little slower this time around and doing some details and, you know, some cool things like that. So, okay, we're not going to just leave it all to off-camera work like we did on Family Ties. All right, so as we said, that is the first floor for the Home Alone house. We will work on floor two and the attic next time. And uh, yeah, with that, you know, uh, just make sure that you don't leave any of your children uh, behind when you go out for anything simple, like milk, or somehow afford to fly your family to Paris. What, is, what does Kevin's dad do? He like robbed a bank, didn't he? That's the only explanation I can come up with. <laughs>